Hey everybody, it's Neil. I'm doing a voiceover because I forgot to set the recorder. But I have this. This is the Basla Cold Weather. And it is a heat strip, heat tape thing that you wrap onto the pipes to warm it up and you plug it in and it's super cool. Uh, hopefully you like my dogs in the background. They are super cute. And I am gonna use this on my pool equipment because it has gotten cold the last few years. And for some reason, the water coming out of the pool area just seems to get frozen and uh, gets stuck in these pipes. So I'm going to be wrapping this on the pipes to keep it from freezing and screwing up my pool equipment like it did last year. My valves uh, broke was the problem last year. The pipes actually didn't break, but the valves, something, I guess it froze up in the valves and expanded and got it bad. But here I am unwrapping the um, thing. It came with a lot of um, twisties, twist ties. So if you need some twist ties, you can buy some of this and you'll get some extra twist ties with it as well. But here we go, plugging it in and I could feel it heating up almost immediately. So it does uh, work. I don't think there's a necessarily a thermostat on it to turn it on and off. So if it's plugged in, it's on. If it's not plugged in, it's off, I think is how it works. Um, I do have a device that will uh, turn on at certain temperatures and things like that. So I may hook it up to that, or um, I may just hook it up to one of my smart switches and turn it on on demand when I need it. But um, but my biggest thing is my salt filter. You can kind of see that um, the salt, I don't know what it's called, the salt generator and the valves behind it and stuff like that. I guess that area holds a lot of water. So when it freezes, it got really bad. Um, and depending on how the valves are, when it went into freeze mode, I think it bypassed some of this stuff is what the problem is. So the pool, when it goes into freeze mode, it bypasses some of my pipes. And then those pipes that are sitting there are the ones that got frozen. So um, this is a good thing for that. But it also would work on like faucets. And um, I had one of these when I had my RV. I used one of these um, on the pipe from the water from the ground into my camper. So I definitely needed that. And then I had another one even for my my, my my poop drain because that one there it got frozen in the little in the um in the loop on it so it was good and the way I usually do these is I put them on and then I cover it with um like a pool noodle kind of stuff whatever that's called the insulation foam not a pool noodle but the insulation foam or fiberglass and just kind of wrap it around just kind of keep the heat in and it, these work great and this one here is nice it's a good length it was like I don't know four or five feet or six feet or something, but it's really good. So definitely pick one of these up. These are great.